hi, hello, and howdy. I'm Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting with kind of a little bit of everything. I want to show you some stuff that I've got my grubby little hands on in the last couple weeks. Um, have some small shop stuff here, have a spot of friend mail kindness here, have uh, more small shop here. We all know what this is. And then I do have a PR package. So let's dive in and start with the PR. Into this PR package from Paint Some Way. Let's see what we got this month. I'm excited because um, apparently <laughs> the word on the street is that I'm just like this super terrible influence and I've been influencing you guys to um, dive into the world of these really crazy tarot card canvases with me. So guess what? I have another one. <laughs> um, by the way, some of you may remember I did get in PR a canvas from Paint Some Way and it was this purple and gold skull that actually kind of turned out like more like purple and orange and I was short the number 301 drill and you guys here it is they did promise to send me the replacement drills that I needed to complete the project with my next order and um, they're right here and it has the canvas serial written on here so in case I forgot I, I know you know what these go to but clearly it is number 301 oops upside down right there and they notated what canvas it went to and stuck it to my order so thank you paint some way this is proof positive of their good customer service because like I said um it was a it was a skull canvas and I ran out of one of the integral colors and I contacted them and they did in fact follow through on their word to replace the drill so thank you so much and with that let's move along here and I want to check out this new tarot card canvas so we have a 40 by 60 I'm gonna have to do it this way because of you know space constraints and whatnot but here it is We've got Ghostface, and he is going to ask me to move the light so you can see him. There you go. He is the killer card. Says the killer down here. Check it out. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that glare. Look at that. Not as, like, goofy fun as the, like, serial killer tarot card I recently did, but uh, definitely excited. I saw some other killers, too, you guys, and, oh, you better believe those are on the way, too. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to, to keep going with this tarot card thing because I was really enjoying it. And so when I saw, you know, iconic killers in tarot card format, heck, yeah. So here it is. Now this does say it's a 40 by 60 and you know what I like to do. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. This is a round drill canvas. No specials. Just kind of it is what it is. So on the 40 axis we have 35. So that tells me this is gonna be a 55 on the 60. Let me see if I can stretch it out. Almost. It's about 54 in a quarter. So we do lose 10 centimeters total on the whole thing, five across and uh, what is that? Five and a half? Yeah. Thank you. On the on the vertical, 10 centimeters, that's four and a half-ish inches that we kind of drill space we kind of lose to this bordering. But um, I still think so far from what I can see, this image looks pretty good. Let's all have a good laugh and watch me struggle uh, as I try to put in my requisite experience hours in the spatula manning department trying to get that master class spatula designation. I want to be a professional spatula -er. and uh, so you know any chance I get to try to use this I'm gonna because you know I have to put in my apprentice hours and stuff. That went pretty uneventful, so that's good. Can I do it again? 
<laughs> no, <laughs> probably no. As Sundown is waiting anxiously in the wings to help me with a DIY project because it contains sharp things like staples and whatnot and splintery wood. So he's going to be doing the dangerous stuff. And uh, yeah, I know you guys want to see me do it. Ah, so I could get attacked by things falling you want to see me do it so you can see me staple my finger or get a splinter and cry like a big baby but it's not gonna happen um that's my job <laughs> yes that'll be for him it'll be funnier if it happens to him but um here is our canvas got some I, it does have pink in it i can overlook it because it's blended in with some other colors but we do have kind of like a tie-dye rainbowy effect and it'll be nice to do a horror canvas that has some color right so this canvas does have 22 colors and it did come with our standard kit our green boat a double pad of wax our pink diamond painting pen with brass tip and some baggies if we want to baggy anything um and then the kit did come in actual baggies so that's nice we do have identifying information here looks like it's on every baggie and it includes the the number is that it correlates to the table and the serial number of the canvas. There's some other stuff here. I think that's a DMC and the weight. So here's our color palette if you want to take a look. We do have a bunch of really deep dark purples in here, maroons. We've got pops of color like blue and yes, some pink, but that's okay. Yellow, interesting. And then we've got the white. And that looks to be predominantly our color palette. I do see some curdled milk situation here that I'm pretty excited about. So yes, very excited and nice. It does look like the color palette matches the canvas. It is what I expect to see. It does look like it matches this quite well. I do see that, um, you know, there are some wrinkle, not wrinkles, but like bends in the canvas from being rolled up. I don't think it's anything that flattening will not conquer, so that should be fine. Let's take a look at the clarity um, and the thumbnail. I almost forgot, y'all, to be honest. I'm just excited. There's the thumbnail, what it should look like when it's done. And here's our table. Looks like we have an alphabet situation. It is not in order. It's in DMC order, but not alphabetical order, which is fine. I'll just put it in alphabetical order when I want to. <laughs> and here's our canvas I'm looking on here and it looks like all the colors kind of it looks like the the uh, letters were built into the canvas versus stamped on top so all the T's look to be the same color all the W's look to be the same color very nice everything's clear I see a lot of light on dark and the darker letters on lighter colors so love to see that some large sections of color blocking here but also you know we do see some pretty heavy confetti areas as well nothing real crazy um everything looks pretty good what do you guys think of this canvas let's check out the other one and here is the other canvas. So you know me in series and Sundown, if you haven't heard, has an affection for skulls. So I decided to give this another try. So you saw in the beginning that we did get replacement drills from ones that were shorted in another canvas from this company. And so I went ahead and I said, let's give them a second try. Let's give this a second chance, right? So I picked up another skull in this series of purple and gold skull situation. This is supposed to be a 30 by 40, but if it's like the other one and like my eyeballs are telling me, this is going to be more like a 20 by, okay, so 24 on the 30, we lose six there. And then this is 34 on the 40, we lose six there. So we lose 12 centimeters to bordering this should have arguably been drill field space really kind of a bummer i think these could benefit because they look a little stretched through especially like through here right right here look at the that five head he's got going on there um and again we have the aviator sunglasses eye sockets but 
Sundown liked it, and I believe in second chances, so I thought we would give the company another try and see if, you know, did we get all our drills to complete this canvas this time? It, you know, do, will it turn out to be more purple and gold as the picture indicates versus purple and orange or purple and brown? We shall see. But this is around drill, no specials. This one looks to have 16 colors. Uh, like I said, it does look a little stretched and elongated. The other one did too, but once we finished it, it didn't, it wasn't as pronounced when it was finished. Don't ask me the magic or, you know, science behind that, but it, to the to the eye, it didn't look as stretched and pronounced, in my opinion. All right, and the kit did come again with the standard tool kit with the boat, a single pad of wax this time, and a pink brass-tipped pen. And then we do have our drills in, you know, stamped with DMC baby trains. Mmm, baby trains. But uh, here we go. Maybe if you can see the color palette, looks like we have a lot of darkness here. Three tens in abundance. We do have the purple I expect to see. Interesting, we've got some maroon here and brown and tan, which I'm going to guess is going to be in through here. I'm assuming maroon is maybe going to be blended in the outer is where I think I see that at. And... Um, I don't really see anything that screams gold to me. Maybe it's picking up in the viewfinder. This one is picking up as gold in the viewfinder, but into the naked eye, it's more of a tan. Very interesting. Uh, I'll have to wait and see what it looks like in post editing, but um, you know, we do have some kind of beigey situations here for the, the skull. But yeah, definitely a lot of purple and brown or khaki and tan in this one. So I'm going to be interested in seeing how this turns out and if it does have more of a gold effect to the skull versus the last one that was supposed to have gold and it turned out like orange. We'll see. But yeah, here's here's our, our materials. And let's take a look at the label table situation. We do have one, two, three, A, B, C, which is very nice. It looks like we have light on dark and dark on light for legibility, like in that. And then how's our clarity looking? Looks pretty good. Don't see anything, you know, glaringly atrocious or anything. Nothing too scary on here. Some color blocking and some confetti. I mean, that's gonna be any diamond painting, right? Do you see pretty heavy color blocking? Lots of C, which is um, gonna be 939, and then a lot of number twos down here, which is our black 310. Yeah, there's that one. I'm excited to see how this turns out and add them to the collection on our wall. All right, let me clean this up and then I want to show you some of the things that I got from some small shops and friend mail. Be right back. And like magic, I'm back with my first small shop purchase. Uh, now, so, not all of this. So let's be clear, I had some of this already, but I did go on Make Your Own Wall Art site, which you can see here, meow. -a. And I did purchase their like six pack of putty in my choice of colored holder here from Carissa's Crafting Corner and um, 3D Printing Shop. And so I did buy six new putty tins complete with a putty holder and the little alien putty sticker on the front. Now they do offer these sets of six and they also offer a set of, I think it's 10 maybe or 12 and they offer them in hard or soft or you can leave a note and kind of pick your poison, which is what I did. I was like, I'm gonna, you know, use this six slots to fill in some of the gaps in my stash. So as it stands currently, um, now I do have Boulder from the February release in the heart tin, but I wanted it in a tin tin. So I picked Boulder and I said, hey, if you got any peppermint left around, can I get some of that? So they threw that in there. I do have a sample of blue, but I wanted a tin of blue. 
Um, I do have a sample of grassy, but I wanted a tin of grassy for mine own. So I did get these as part of my six pack. I already had dreamy and purple. I already had pearl and lucky and confetti and mystery. I did pick up um, ocean as my fifth choice. Maybe if I can get it out, ocean and uh, galactic because I did not already have galactic. So uh, if anyone's curious, I've been testing these. So I will do an updated alien putty um, video. My, my opinions and impressions for what those are worth on alien putty. I have one previously in the playlist. Obviously, uh, I need to do an updated impressions video because I have a lot more formulas to impress me. <laughs> and um, also, I am waiting on strawberry lemonade to arrive and I want some time to test that. But once I get it and I test it against some of these other putties, I will produce a new video updated for you. Until then, you can check the playlist and find the older one. But yes, this is what Galactic looks like. Looks like it's blue, purple, and pink mixed together. And then we have Ocean, which is this really pretty, sorry, I flipped these all around because I was digging into them uh, in the tin. <laughs> this pretty like teal color. I didn't think I would like it because it's pretty teal, and uh, but I do mystery one of my favorites that's why there's a chunk miss and I use this a lot I've had this I think since maybe February or March and and uh, this is all I've used and this is like one of my most used putties it's red and black mixed together and we've got confetti which is newer to my collection I have sent a sample off to uh, someone who was in need so uh, this is kind of a mix it looks like blue purple pink and white and I do have Lucky, which I've also sent a sample off to someone who was wanting to try this out. But yeah, we've got Lucky there. And then we have Pearl. I have also sent, I have a sample. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to think, ooh, that's all you get in the tin. No, I'm, I, I broke off a chunk and sent samples to people who are needing to try these out. Um, or as surprises in with gifts that I'm sending out. And then here's my purple. I've been using this for months as well. And that's all that's been dug into it. You guys, this, this stuff lasts. Or this is more putty than I'll ever need in my life. My daughter's been digging into Dreamy. But I also have sent a sample out. And that looks to be orange and white combo. This is Leah's favorite. And then we've got Grassy here. Bright green. If you're curious, like how it compares with Lucky, which was also green, this is more of like a dark. See? Yeah. Um, so, not bamboozling you. Two different greens, just uh, and two different formulas. And then we got OG Blue. And uh, sorry, flipped it around. Like I said, been playing with it. There's the blue. And then the peppermint, oh my gosh, if you could smell this, you can smell this from like rooms away. Looks to be red and white mixture. Ooh, smells good. It smells like a, a winter peppermint that you get at Christmas time and stuff. And then of course, well, it's hard to see with the wrapper, Boulder, black. There we go, folks. And then I also have um, one of the two trash cans. I forgot to get the blue trash can, but here is my first uh, trash can that they did in silver. Haven't picked up a blue one, forgot. My bad, but uh, yeah, here we go. I think this six piece set with this, um, words are hard. This six piece set with the six tins of putty were uh, after tax, I think $103.99. And that comes with the 3D printed holder from Carissa's shop. So, I mean, really good deal. You got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. It's basically you buy, price-wise, you buy four tins. Wait, five tins. One, two, three, four. Yeah, well, math's hard. You buy five tins, you get one free, and you get the holder free, essentially, um, is how the math works, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. All right, let's see what else there is. All right, and the next thing I got in the last couple of weeks was from Patriotic Team. 
It's my pen dealer. <laughs> She also does stained glass though. Really beautiful stuff. If you're looking for some decor, the her stained glass stuff is really, really beautiful. Here's the QR code and other information. There you are. And the pen I picked up was this pen here. To me, it says autism awareness. And I mean, because you guys know, I don't, I'm not usually into sparkles or anything that has pink or a lot of pink in it. But this is an exception because Leah's youngest brother is on the autism spectrum. And of course, I love and support him and um, love to participate in any way I can with the awareness and... Um, support of those with autism so yeah I've got this pin in honor of Leah's half brother and along with this pin came a bunch of really fun cool stickers including like these hollow stickers look at that and um she knows the way to my heart because she gave me some creepy ghoulish stickers and some washi tape in my favorite season fall so there's that and then um not a small shop but another creator diamond crafts by eileen sent me friend mail and before i had gotten and ordered the um putty set when i ordered the putty set it, they were sold out of the peppermint so i didn't think i had a shot at the peppermint and i was like man i really wanted to try that what a bummer uh and eileen heard me say that and she was kind enough to send me a sample of her peppermint so that was really kind of her and i'm gonna put it to live in here with the other little samples of peppermint i appreciate that thank you so much eileen and she sent me this fun little card to go with it i don't know how i could forget um probably because i had them in my you know, like uh, not in my line of view they were on my dresser waiting to get packed away in my sock drawer but eileen also did send me these dr pepper socks <laughs> crazy eileen what a goofball I'm like full of forgetfulness, but I was getting ready to put these away and I forgot to show you guys. We got Eileen also sent these funny stickers, Blubber King, making fun of Burger King. And of course, a little coffee because coffee's been my jam lately. Plaster chips, making fun of Pringles. <laughs> Shingles plaster chips. And Homie Smacks, making fun of Honey Smacks. And I think it says Kill Frogs instead of Kellogg's at the top. <laughs> Eileen, you're so funny. Much, much appreciated. What a what a sweetheart. And then the last thing I got was from our friends over at Galaxy's Stickers and Images. Go check her out on Facebook. She has a shop site. Everything's cool. She usually does images and stickers. You guys might have seen like um aha. These. We've got, you know, the sundown sewer monster stickers which guys i need to get this in a diamond painting I, sh I wish i had time to order one for um horror hubby horror crush october i'm sorry honey i didn't even think about it to be honest it's okay. i just thought mikey <laughs> but there's sundown these are stickers that galaxy created from pictures of real life sundown in combination with the story behind Sundown the Sewer Monster, you can find that in my Whippin' Chats. I believe it was a December Whippin' Chat. Yeah. Oh, yes, it was. It was, it was a very, very, very <laughs> crappy ordeal. <laughs> very cold. <laughs> Freezing. And then this is my cart goblin, Tanya. Tanya Potter at Devil's Angel Madness. I had her made into a little cart goblin sticker. So... This is normally the type of stuff that Galaxy does, but she's been expanding her range. And one of the things that she is currently selling is, wait for it, no, not Office Max. Office Max is involved, but she's selling diamond painting log books, you guys. So this one I got from her. It was only $5, and uh, it was like a digital file situation, and I purchased it and she sent it and I printed it all out then I took it to office max as you saw and I had it um, bound and laminated so I chose to print this um on like almost cardstock it's like a certain I don't know it's a heavier thicker paper than just regular printer paper which is why the book is so thick let me show you it's it's this thick because 
and uh, maybe I should get that because of the type of paper I used if you don't like a thicker bulkier book then you could use a thinner paper but yeah it's an inch thick you guys and um it's a it's a what eight by eleven yeah eleven by eight and a half so like a, a paper sized you know what I'm saying notebook size but it's so thick because I chose to use really thick paper you don't have to do that but that's what I did and um, they put a spiral bound situation on here a laminated clear see-through cover so we can see this cover page pager cover page I was gonna say page and paper cover paper through you know the clearness and then we have the this journal belongs to page and she was kind enough to include a diamond dots conversion chart I know I've seen a few other creators and heard a few comments in the in like Facebook um, comments and whatnot about converting and needing like a chart or whatever to convert diamond dots into DMC numbers and she was thoughtful enough to include that as well and then we do have a color chart so we can see the DMCs and generally the related colors there which is really handy and nice we have a wish list page to track down like track all of our wish lists and mark them down write them down whatnot and a list of finishes and if you notice I did get the spooky ones book that I was all like zombie hands here I mean spooky little accents and details on every page because you know but she has other other ones that are cutesy or trippy fun and then um, some other dark choices as well but you can see like the clawed bloody hand here for finishes and we got bloody hand prints and blood drippy inventory and so we have many pages of inventory if you're like me and you have an excessive inventory or you find that your inventory is growing and growing uh, you have plenty of inventory sh sheets here in the book with which to track everything where there's a category what number the title your inventory number and location so like me I do categories horror fantasy mythos and things like that I would put that category in here and then I do it by like horror number one horror number two horror number three so it'd be like category horror number one in that category the title baby Mikey and then in my overall inventory of all diamond paintings it might be you know number 513 and then I might need to know where it is. Is it on my hanging on my wall apparatus? Is it in a tote? Is it, you know, on a shelf? Where is it located? So you can track all that information here. Very nice. And then lots of room to do, you know, an inventory category per page, maybe. If you want to do it, that's how I would do it. <laughs> so you, once you get past the inventory sheets, you have a diamond painting log book. We got this creepy skull here. And as you can see, there's a place for a thumbnail. You can attach there. You can write in the title, the size, start date, end date, how many colors, what price that it was, where you got it from, and any notes you have, and a five skull rating system. Too cute. And there's plenty of sheets with which to track that and then the back section has pages of notes so if you're a creator and you need to take notes or if you're just casual diamond painter who likes to take notes about your experience or oh I gotta remind myself to check out this website I just heard about while I was you know listening doing a whip or um you know remind me to go watch this video whatever shop at this shop Hey, note, I need new alien putty. Whatever the case may be, you can write your notes here. Plenty of notes pages left for you. I started to run a little low on ink. It's not the it's not um, the file's fault. It was my printer. My printer was like, please. This is about 100 pages, you guys. 100 pages of diamond painting logbook goodness. And they put a black cover at office max on the back but uh she did include a back cover sheet and as you can see made by galaxy the alien queen this is the 2024 edition of the book so there you have it and uh, to get this um 
you know, like paper hole punched and bound and laminated was only $6 at Office Max. So not expensive. In total, this book cost me about $11 plus whatever, however you would factor in paper and ink, you know, but to, to get the file and to have it, um, hole punched and bound was only $11 total. Really great value. And, uh, you guys, you, surprise, you're probably going to find some of these types of things in the 1313 schmiva way. I can't, I don't want to say the actual word, you know, that might trigger, I don't know, a bot or something. So, um, kind of like I have to say schmirschmexa, we'll just say schmiva way. Anyway, you guys will probably be seeing this again soon. Somewhere in the neighborhood of, oh, I don't know, 1313. That's all I can say about that. Top secret.